What's up guys, Waitism here, ready to go ahead and bring you the second part of episode 4 of Life is Strange. Now the first part started out really depressing, but we're about to put on the movie, so hopefully that cheers things up at least minutely. Alright, put the DVD in, let's go. I sit on the I have a feeling this is going to be sad. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this will be happy. Maybe this is where it all turns around. I hope she doesn't just die in her chair. could handle that. Wow, did I really pause the other video that close to the end of the episode? I thought for sure there was going to be a... Don't be dead. Oh, fuck. I couldn't handle that. Okay, she's not dead. I fell asleep, didn't I? I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can what? see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? Do I have all the drugs that this- I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. This is depressing. It was Come great on. Seeing you. Come on. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Uh, fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. This is... Ah! Is there a dream catcher on this window yet? Ah, I hate this. Medical ventilator. Chloe. Alright, I gotta get your drugs. Please don't breathe heavily. That's just awful. Hello, William. They gave Chloe their giant, expensive HDTV, and they use her shitty tube television. Victoria. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. $8,857. Oh, sure. That's great they finally went to Paris. Damn. This is just oh, for Chloe's basic supplies. Excuse me. All right. Now, let's check this. Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Max, are we cool? I just wanted to make sure you, since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, Kay. I love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, Kay. Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. I love you. I feel bad for her. What? What did he just say? These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Whereas the shores of Arcadia Bay once acted as a lovely gateway to the Pacific and beyond, now locals and tourists face the sad, surreal image of gray whales that inexplicably swam to land and to their doom. Doom. The whale pods were, were spotted early morning on Wednesday, October 9th, and within a few hours, at least half a dozen were dead or dying on the shore. 
Smartphone footage does not reveal any unusual ocean conditions or excessive pollution. Meanwhile, ecologists and marine biologists from across the country are carefully studying samples from the whales in the environment. The Prescott Foundation has vowed to provide extra research funds given the local scope of this eco-mystery. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Search for popular teen continues. Blackwell honor student Rachel Amber has not been seen for over six months, yet her family and friends have only intensified the search for the 18-year-old Arcadia Bay resident. Police and FBI have few leads and little information in the case, which has caught the interest of national, national reality show Where Did They Go? The Amber family has offered a reward for any information leading to the whereabouts of their daughter. For more details, please contact help at findrachelamber.org. Dot or H is next to the G key. I am certain this was a typo in the game. So, game creators, you fucked up. You've done so well so far. Why'd you have to make a typo right now? It's some stupid side thing. Yep, that's the same graffiti from before. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Choices of food coupon boss. I want to examine everything before I go upstairs. Flyers. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Well, they're out of money. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. And... Boy, is this game going to start getting me talking about politics? Alright. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Don't want to talk politics right now. Don't want to do it. Hey, William. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Paris trip. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. <laughs> but it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. Yikes. It's not fair, Max. Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly oh. sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. This is rough. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And God, your father. Why is this I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe. If I wasn't here, William, I just want this you to know terrible. that whatever happens, oh, my heart. I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Joyce. Being around you and Joyce again is so this is nostalgic. Brilliant. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> oh yeah. I think it's great for Chloe old to see school. you. It makes it Joyce did. happy too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Crazy weather. Rach Lambert, Prescott family. Gosh. I was reading about that missing girl. This is Rachel a lot Amber. of talking. I don't oh, do. yeah. She went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Crazy weather. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy Explore weather? Every avenue. Animals dying. Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. Alright. 
The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. Pan Estates. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But... But we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. This is just... I... I don't know what to say. All right. What are we getting? It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Why do they have a picture of Arcadia Bay in their house? Seems kind of strange. This isn't the bathroom, but I do want to explore everything. Ah, oh, did I just walk oh, in on you? Yes, it is so nice to have you around. <laughs> That's such a weird thing to do. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. With William and Chloe. Wow, that's that's an old picture, isn't it? I'm just gonna mumble through William your stuff. He's trying so hard. He's still awesome. Picture. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Plot twist. You did. What's this? Oh no. Oh my gosh, there's so much reading. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. Oh, that's great. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand that re the reality that respiratory failure is common in... Fucking fuck! This is terrible! It's common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Well, that's pleasant. I love this game. It's so much fun. Joyce is already a super mom. This is terrible. All right, Ashtray, looks like you're a smoker now. Hmm. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. She can't move. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. This is so awesome. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. So well. Those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. By the time I'm done with this game, I think we're gonna have depression issues. A lot of work. David Madsen. David Madsen? Why not? Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the Two Whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just... curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Except I'm a pot smoker, which isn't bad. So... What do you think is going on here with all this That's bad. eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. 
Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. Oh, they door. have dead birds too, so. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I know before my theory was that we changed it from tornado to tsunami because there was whales, not dead birds. But if it was dead birds, then the whales was just a next side Plus, effect, I guess. You guys have to work too. Uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Well, we're buddies, so... I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much. And she gets damn sick of her parents. Oh my gosh. That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Please stop. Her respiratory system is very weak and she... Do you know what I'm saying? I want to go back downstairs. She's going to be fucking dead. I I'm know it. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. Come on. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Fuck this. I'm going to go down. She's going to be dead. I already know what's going to happen, okay? Accept that reality, everybody, because that's what's gonna happen. Chloe's room. It's empty. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I am so sorry that I can't help you with a loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a, a hug and my best wishes. Love, Aunt Dorothy. Aunt Dorothy. They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. <laughs> Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Why would I sit there? I never heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother Aaron. Your brother Aaron. Guess I'll sit down on this thing and see what happens, see what I talk about. Hopefully he doesn't play any music. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. I would be too. I'd be tripping. I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. You didn't put them... Oh, you kind of did. But... I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. Fix something else. Change something and else. I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Of course, I guess every time you... Every time you change something, there's the butterfly effect. Oh, this a blue is... butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. I doubt it. At least we never had to hide from Step Douche. Alright, this is such fun. Much yay. Alright. Can I turn the light on? There we go. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. 
I think I look older. Here it is. Yeah, you done drugs. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Kinda ages you. You're gonna go down there, she's gonna be dead. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. I don't want I don't wanna go downstairs. I just don't. It's she's cool dead, I'm cutting the video, that's natural it. Medicine too. That's it for today. I did Nothing that other here. part earlier, doing this now. Can't handle that. That's awful. There, I'll switch it off. God knows you guys need to save on your electricity at least. Saved you guys like five cents. Apparently the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. <clears throat> this is awful. Look at the car keys. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Just can't wait. Are you dead? Oh, thank God you're not dead. Oh. This is no point. No. I don't want to do that. I don't want to give you this. I feel like you're going to OD. Shit. Whatever. There Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. This Max, is miserably I'm so depressing. grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. I'm getting a migraine. This is so miserable. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Jesus. This is some real life stuff here. Oh my lord. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. We have to do this. This is morbid. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Stop. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. I actually had a headache. Seems like not yesterday. Kidding. This is miserable. I wish it was. Me too. Oh man. This photo. Maybe I could. Listen, Max. Stop. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along. And I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. 
I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia this Bay. This is literally and the saddest thing. Possible. This isn't a game. You made me feel that way today. I'm not having fun. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? This? How can you ask someone to do this? Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do truth. this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. What the fuck? I can get charged with murder for this kind of shit. What a shitty thing to ask somebody to do. Fuck! I would want someone to do it for me, but that's selfish. This is the hardest decision of the entire game. And I'm gonna do it. Chloe. I'll just drift asleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. Can I get it in writing or something? I'm about to murder you. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. That's some shit.
her heart rate was still 70 something in the background so Wow! I'm sorry, William. Okay, yeah, we gotta do this again. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max. Why would you burn that though? Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max. This is the fucking saddest thing. Never leaving me. That makes all of us. Wow. Alright. Well, this is the last cutscene before I cut this game. I can't handle this much emotional fucking trauma in one goddamn night. Max, you are night. being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Killed my best friend in an alternate timeline. Please let me end this. Please stop the cutscenes. I can't do this. I have gotta take a break. Can't do this. This is the most emotionally taxing game I think I've ever played in my life. Not safe for work. Chloe, you're alive. Yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grow. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Wow, this is... 
I don't think oh. you can ever tell Chloe about what happened. No, probably not. You basically killed her father and her. Let's look at the big board and see all, all our right. pieces in the puzzle so far. Please. Can I turn this off? I don't want to listen to it. Alright, but first... That's enough of that. Because... I can't handle that much emotional trauma at once, so... I'm gonna cut the video here. Hope you guys, uh... Found it interesting. I'm not gonna say enjoyed, because that was... An emotional roller coaster. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that emotional roller coaster, I guess. Uh... And that concludes part two of episode four of Life is Strange. Bye-bye.